I'll say Trondheim is really a unique city. It feels like it has everything you would ever need. It has a couple movie theaters, it has a symphony orchestra, it has a thriving culture. I, I don't like to look things up before I go to places. I like to be shocked by the culture, either in a good way or in a bad way. To tell you the truth, I felt like I really lucked out. It was probably one of the luckiest choices I've ever made. And I really mean lucky because, like I said, I hadn't looked it up. I hadn't looked up the city. I didn't know what was here. I didn't know that the oldest church in Northern Europe was here. I didn't know that such beautiful scenery would be here, that such an interesting culture would be here, that such a great orchestra would be here. It was a completely lucky decision. So that's the police. So Hans, uh, you're the dog. Handle, gör uh, läxor och blir filmstar. <laughs> Välkommen. <laughs> In the United States, you're kind of given an opportunity to pick different kinds of electives in middle school whenever you're 10 or 11 years old. Um, and I said that I did want to play music, and they assigned me to play clarinet. But I decided that day that I did not want to play clarinet for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> uh, the music director came into the room and she was like, okay, well, you're going to play the double bass. And I was like, what's that? And she was like, well, follow me. And my mom was with me, with me at the time whenever I had to pick a new instrument. And we both walk in the room, we see the double basses like lined up on a wall. There was like 10 of them or something. And both the, my mom and I were just complete shock. We were like, what the heck? How are we going to carry this thing around? And it was a big, big shock for both of us because we had no idea. Uh, there's something interesting about double bass. It's one of the most non-standard instruments in the whole string family in that the, the size of the instrument is not standardized. The way that you hold the bow is not standardized. You can hold it like this, which is called the German bow, and like this, which is called the French, the French bow. And there are some orchestras that you have to play German bow, and there's some orchestras that you have to play French bow. I would say that working with so many different cultures has always been a part of the music scene. It's always been a part of the music tradition. Trondheim Symphony Orchestra are a melting pot of different cultures, and I think it gives you an opportunity to see how different people have learned music and if they even apply their own culture into the music. Well, my name is Aaron Olgin. I've been in Norway now for about four years or something. And uh, yeah, I'm a double bassist as well. <laughs>